Someone's already been there and seen it. So hasn't he already failed? It's a tricky thing, lad. Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Fate is another lie told by the gods. Nothing is written that cannot be unwritten. On that, brother, you and the old father may just agree. Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Remind me later to tell you about the rules. sure why anyone would want to come here, but here we are. It smells bad. What is that stuff? Weird. Yes. A strange material. Uh, what is this stuff? This mist is cursed. Cursed? Quite right. Safe to breathe for a time, but it'll kill if we linger. Just one more reason to love Niflheim. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Let's see. stuff. Weird. Yes. A strange material. Ah! Fancy seeing you two here. I'm surprised you're here, Sindri. This mist is pretty gross. You think I can't handle a little cursed mist? Well, you're right. I'm trying to build some armor that will lessen its effects. The materials I need are all right here in Evaldi's workshop, but they're blanketed by this nauseating mist, of course. Wait for it. The last known location for such armor is in the workshop center chamber. The entrance is sealed, but I could craft you an entry stone with enough mist echoes. There it is. I wouldn't recommend staying in the mist for too long. That stench will stick to your hair, your weapons, your armor. And I will not touch your gear until you burn all the tiny beasties off in the fires of Muspelheim. Also, it will kill you. There's something written here. This whole place shuffles around each time we leave? That's incredible. Atreus, focus. This is a dangerous place. That's dwarven creativity for you. Impressive and dangerous.
Ooh, looks like you found enough echoes. And you're not dead. Very impressive. Sindri, how do you make anything out of mist? Odd as it sounds, the dwarves who lived here could craft marvels out of the mists of Niflheim. Keep an eye out for more mist echoes. I could put them to all sorts of use. Where shall we begin? Now don't be a stranger! This dinner up here. That's nice. Is that the armor? It looks kind of run down. Can you wear it? No. It is too small and too old. We will bring it back to the dwarf. Oh! <laughs> 
Is that what I think it is? Useless armor? Useless? Oh, ye of little faith, this armor was worn by Ivaldi himself. Sure, it's seen better days, but I can restore it with more mist echoes. And it'll help with the effects of Ivaldi's curse. Unless there is something of value in this workshop, there is little point in staying here. You saw all the chests in the center chamber, yes? Plus all the goodies tucked away towards the back of the workshop? And the three round tears, of course! But... Might want to be careful with those. Why's that? It's a literal tear in the fabric of reality itself. You want to reach your hand through there? Be my guest. So what brings you around, friends? Well, scrounge around a bit more and we'll build something then.
Supposedly, the realm tears contain some kind of terrible secret Evaldi wanted hidden. But who knows, really? Dwarves are strange. And yes, I realize I'm a dwarf. Ready and ready. That's a key part. Don't let the Draugr get you. Let's open one of those tears. Should we do it? I see you're actually enjoying Ivaldi's workshop. You've certainly spent enough time here. Very well. To business. These types. Who knew? Don't forget to wash your hands.
was surprised we made it out of that one. Lads. I'm kind of surprised we made it out of that one. Lives. I'm kind of surprised we made it out of that one.
Valkyrie. You're in Niflheim? Of all the places. Oh. <laughs> Freedom. Yes. You are free now. My sisters, have they suffered the same fate? Yes. But we'll save them. You are both very brave. I wish you luck. Valhalla awaits. Both? She didn't even notice me. they put up such a fight they are fierce opponents it is good for you you know most parents just want their children to get a full night's sleep
need a fresh upgrade before tackling the realm tears? Not that I condone such an action, mind you. Hey, Sindri, guess what? We closed all the realm tears. You what? No, you did not. You really did? No way. Yes, huh? It took forever, but we sealed them all up. I don't believe it. The strength you would need. It is no boast. No, I suppose you aren't the type. Well, not much else I can say besides thank you. Evaldi and Sons would thank you too, were they here? loving gift from the giants. Since I used to do so much traveling between realms, they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal I could lose. Did it hurt? No, because I wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of Billow Maiden's Ale. Not so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put him in my nipples instead. <laughs> Almost talked them into it too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost Teats. <laughs> Ah, those were the days. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop now. You must like the heat, Rock. Heat's damned useful in my line of work. Even makes space itself more pliable. Take those magic doors you love so much. Round here they all go right to one another. No prod from old Brock. Go up yonder and wake some up, you'll see. Getting around moose pools are cinch. As long as you don't end up cooked. Been putzing around Niflheim, have we? How can you tell? And I'd recognize if all these stench of failure and Plus, you still got some mist on your shoes. Let's get you squared away, then.
What else were we talking about? <laughs>